special guest tonight please welcome for the third time on the podcast alice mcmahon so what's up dude that was a very beautiful piece i just made it up dude you did yeah look why are your eyes watering <laughs> I was touched. <laughs> really? I was touched. Oh, it was really, thank you. I think right now we're really looking for some kind of emotional releases. So you what, play some touching of the, shit. What, because of the uh, quarantine? <laughs> oh, we're in a quarantine right now? I didn't know. Oh, we're in a pandemic? I, I feel like huh. we're in a... I didn't know. I, I feel like we're in like a horror movie. It is a horror movie. Back to the Future 5, Biff steals the, the, the fucking the time machine again. But, it, Biff, but Trump is Biff. Can I tell you that um, I never used to watch the news before. I, I never used to, mm-hmm. but I now find it better than most horror films. It's crazy. So I am into the news now. It's crazy. I'm very much finding that the news is like, it's like a, it's, it's basically like a horror film mixed with a daytime soap opera. I feel, I, I completely agree with everything you said. And I also feel something very, very bad is going to happen in California. I know we're all in waiting Octo- for this no, earthquake. No, 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 no. Hear me out. In October. You think earthquake or what? Something. Uh, something. I know because it's like everyone Biological else is getting bombed warfare, and fucking. Something. And they're getting hurricanes everywhere else. Everyone's and we're like, moving. We're like, oh, we're not getting hit. What's going to happen? No, we're so we're waiting for that shoot a drop. But keep in mind, we have been getting hit with like little earthquake. Didn't you feel oh, yeah, that one last week? Oh, yeah, we got that one? Yeah, yeah. There was four, like a rumble. 4 a.m. No, yeah, it, it three, woke four, me up. That was like I had afternoon. Just, yeah, I had just fallen asleep. I was like, I, I've been going to bed a little earlier, like wow. an hour earlier Ooh, than that's normal. that's a change. Yeah, well, what's the point of staying up yeah. late now or doing anything? Like, the t- time is irrelevant now. Yeah, I go down my little YouTube rabbit hole. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do. Um, um, what keeps me up is actually really annoying is I'm always looking at other puppies. Oh. it's I think it's a biological problem. Are you looking to get another dog? Listen, I got a foster dog for a little while, yeah. and Dahmer didn't really like that foster dog, and she got adopted, and that was great, and I loved her, but now I miss her, and I miss, I just like having two, and even though my dog Dahmer doesn't like having two, I'm Rest like, Rest in what? peace, Ramirez, though. Rest in peace. Yeah, RIP Ramirez. I'm like, what if I found, what if uh, I found a dog that he did like? But yeah. I think, honestly, I'm, it's probably my age. It's probably hormonal. You know, it's crazy. My homie, Eddie, just lost his dog, Charlotte. Rest in peace, Charlotte. R.I.P., man. And I can only begin to imagine, like, uh, I did lose Dolly, but it's almost like losing, a, like, a human. No, for some of us, it's, it's worse. Like your, it's like your kid, right? It's worse. So how did you get through? I didn't mean to be, we don't oh, have no, to. No. No, how did okay. you get, because it's, it it's been a year since you've been well, on here. First of all. I deal with death a little bit different than I think a lot of people. Um, Mm -hmm. I think that death is a part of life. I think that we are all here to experience all the things, and death is one of them. So it's a natural thing that we're all going to have to do. Um, As long as I outlive my dogs, I'm happy because I don't want it the other way around. Because the other way around, they're without me, and that's a worse experience. You just scared the shit out of me. Just I don't know why you just did. Because I didn't want to talk about death. I don't know. It's my fault. Because we're both like our age brackets, I don't want to get too specific. Listen, though, you have. I'm to, getting up there, but dude. you should listen. You should talk about death because you it takes the power out of it when you talk about it. It's not as scary. Yeah. If you really think about it, listen. If you really think about it, if you believe, manifest a positive attitude about yeah. it that you're going to go on to a next adventure. Oh, I know we are. I mean, I believe in our souls. Same. If I believe that a lot of these aliens trip on us and they're mm-hmm. a little jealous. 
all, a lot of these other alien races, like the reptilians. Did you see? And the Evens. <laughs> I... Because they don't got a soul, dude. Yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're, they're always trying to, you know, they're doing like I meant... soul transfer. They're trying to transfer our souls or clones. Yeah. But they don't got a soul like humans. Maybe that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? No, I was talking to a guy the other day, though, at the dog park. And he was telling me to read this book. Oh, I'm going to forget what it's called. I have it in my phone, but I'm not going to find it. It's an alien book? It was a, it, basically about how the Egyptians were, and oh, aliens right, right, were right. like sharing technology and oh, shit yeah, like that, sure. which I'm totally into that for shit. For sure. Which is why I'm obsessed with Egyptology and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm like, he was saying something about how they wanted to give us technology to help advance our, you know, whatever. Absolutely. But he didn't did. realize Absolutely. how destructive we were. Oh, yeah. And and they still come and check on us to see how, you know, how we're doing. But they don't want to, like, they explain, I guess, in the book that the reason they, they don't meddle with us is because they want us to have, uh, kind of like any higher power, they want us to have, like, the free free will to make yeah. our own failures and learn. Yeah. Um, but, like, they could totally stop it if they wanted to. Oh, but, yeah, like free energy, all that shit, clean air, all that shit. I don't know. Listen, I don't wholeheartedly believe in anything. I'm really an open-minded to any idea kind of person. If someone mm -hmm. came up with a better thing, I might be like, oh, okay, that's even better. But I'm just one of those people that's like, I like, I think definitely like your soul might go to something else. Like I like the reincarnation idea and that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. I try to be a good person so I don't get reincarnated in something shitty. Yeah. And I know. I just know when we dream, cause I've had some bugged mm -hmm. out dreams. I know that we go to a different dimension cause mm -hmm. all my dreams, it's like I'm here, but it's like in order for me to get back here, I'm like in a dorm or like mm -hmm. a hotel room. Like, oh. I mean, or a casino. Oh, like, kind of like, kind of like, like the Matrix, dude. The Matrix, I was just going to say. Like, like I have to figure out the door to go to. Okay. And then I, I'm telling you, like, every other dream, I'm like in that scenario where okay. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm in a dorm. How do I? Well, I, yeah, that's why I'm thinking that, like, having uh, some kind of belief in some kind of afterlife, listen, it doesn't fucking hurt you if it's not true. You know, if it turns out the afterlife is just nothing. You just turn into dust. I wouldn't mind because if it's just a light switch, mm -hmm. like a flip of a switch, I won't be conscious to even know the difference. That's what I'm saying. You, you know won't know that. Like, you won't know the difference. It won't matter. I mean, that's super fear. That 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 gives me a lot of anxiety to think that that would be a, an ending though, because that's really it then. But at the same time, I think what I'm saying is just to have some kind of faith or belief in something, whether it be religious or not, that's not going to hurt anyone or anything. It's just going to give you a, yeah. a, a ability to deal with death and like your friends dying and your pets dying. Cause you know, when Ramirez died, of course I cried for a long time, but I also, Dude, you that know, must've been so hard. Yeah. Especially I just got fired. Yeah, it was like yeah, just yeah. Um, Christmas and like, Ooh. you know, it was my first Christmas without him. And then yeah. the other dog, you worry about the other dog being depressed. The other dog was Dahmer, depressed. How did it affect He was Dahmer? freaking depressed for like a month. You notice a difference? Oh yeah. He was like. Was he crying? Dahmer actually does cry. Oh my God. He fucking cries. But guess what? He got over it and now yeah, he's yeah. stoked on being the only dog because he started realizing that he's getting extra spoiled. Right, right. And he doesn't have anyone like, you know, stealing his snacks anymore. That's crazy. But I'm just saying like, they definitely have mourn like people and have their own process with death, but they move past it, I think, a little faster than we do. Right. Especially if we are also able to like, you know, like instead of wallowing in sadness, mm -hmm. like I wanted to, of course, m many days, yeah, I'd just be yeah, like, fuck yeah. this. Did you, you know? like stay in your apartment? For no. We, we went out every day still to the went park. To the, like, we okay. still go outside. Oh, right, right, we still right. went to the park. We Starbucks. Still, I still, I'm not, I'm not going to let my other dog just lay and be depressed either. I'm, I'm, I got to live for the two of us, we we're still alive. Ramirez that's, died. We didn't. That's great. So we got to keep moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what you have to translate that to humans and animals. I think just think about, you know, like some, some people, you know what? I'll make an exception. If your like child was murdered or your animal was like, mur like if so, it was like really horrible. That's a hard one to, I don't know how I would deal with that situation because first of all, you have to also contend with getting justice and the, I think I would be having a hard time with that shit. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. But like a natural death, it's, it's part of the process. It's part now. of it. It's part of it. Now, like did, did, did he uh, um, present himself in a dream? Did you see him in one of your dreams? Because when my dad passed away, mm -hmm. it was a minute, but he actually, he was in one of my dreams in my old house. Before the death or after? After. Oh, okay. After my dad had passed, it wasn't right away, but like like maybe a month later or something, he was in my old house in Poway, 
hmm. laying on a little cream mattress with my mom and like but there's cobwebs hmm. first of all that house was haunted hmm. in Poway but like I remember it was yeah like, you've talked about yeah that. walking into a haunted house and he was like just laying on a Korean mattress like hey I'm okay son Oh, that's cool. No, did your dog ever... Did you, no, what's weird about that, that when you were saying that, it was thinking about the fact that Ramirez and Dahmer were, both of them, always in my dreams before he died. Like, I always did adventures with them in my dreams. And then uh, I had one last dream, and it, he was... And it was more like a foretelling dream where um, he... This was crazy, where I dreamt... Um, I was in this big house, like a two-story, you know, whole house... And I lived there with both of my dogs. And then, like, an earthquake happened. But it was, like, a crazy earthquake. Where right. the, It was, like, the end of the world earthquake where I was on a part of land that was shifting from another part. Like, say, the street sidewalk here and the house I was on and the part of the y- front yard was there. Yeah. And this was going, I'm going to say, 30, 40 miles an hour this way. And this was going another, like, 35 miles an hour the other way. Two oh. parts of the surface of the oh, earth damn. were, like going this way and Ramirez had crossed it. Sorry, the microphone. Oh, it's Ra- like a video game. Ra- like a- yeah, and Ramirez yeah, had yeah. crossed the other oh, way and damn. I was like trying to catch up to oh, him. Oh, that, sh- that was symbolic. Oh, yeah. And he crossed over to the other side. Yeah. Oh, and shit. he was going the other way yeah. and I was like, oh, shit, I got to get him and I couldn't catch him in time yeah. and I was like, okay, he's gone. But this is the thing and I also feel like it's easier to deal with a passing when you know that that person or animal was in a lot of pain and he was in the end so same thing with dolly so letting that go and knowing that he's no longer in pain that yeah makes me feel a lot better because i've watched some people keep their loved ones or animals alive in pain too long no you gotta you gotta end the suffering you know what I'm yeah saying? quality of life is important to me i want yeah. i want to get pull the plug tattooed on me somewhere yeah i if, just remember dolly one of my fondest uh dolly memories is at least uh we we got to take her to camp go camp mm-hmm. and i remember uh there's a great memory where she was on the boat on mm-hmm. the boat on the front of the boat and she was like tripping on the ducks Mm-hmm. And then we actually swam in the lake, and it was just a good, you know. Yeah, that's beautiful. At least yeah. she, she, you know, she got to experience. That was a great memory. Well, that's for her. what I, and that's what I always yeah. say too. Just make sure every day that you can, you enjoy the ones that you love that are around you. That way, you know, like when it's when it ends, you're not like, oh, I should have done more. I should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? No, dude, you were a fucking great parent to the dude. You're awesome with your dude. You bring your dogs everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, by the way, I miss our the star the Starbucks. I miss there. our Starbucks too. Yeah. Um, I still go there most every day, but oh, you just, see, we just don't hang out. Right, right. You, just my, get, you get your you know, uh, thing. And we can't hang yeah. out anywhere anymore. So, so man, it's been a while. It's been about a year since you've been here. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot has happened. Yeah. Can we talk about, so what happened with the cheetahs? <laughs> so, yeah. Explain to the viewers and listeners what, like the story behind so cheetahs. So if anyone hasn't seen any of my interviews before or don't know who I am, I'm a former stripper dancer worked in the industry for over 20 years um coming from portland oregon to los angeles and i worked at a club here called cheetahs yeah and cheetahs had a lot of oh. um bands and mm-hmm. stage show stuff yeah and like, comedy central things yeah there. comedy central yeah, 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 well yeah, yeah. we didn't get to dance those nights which i hated what sucks is i hate i used but to they, hate they, they filmed there yeah, yeah, but yeah, we didn't yeah, get yeah. to work those nights, which that sucked because suck. it was taking that, that sucky, it was taking money off our right, right, plate, right. which I hated on them for. But then when I realized later, um, the comedians that they had on there, I was like, oh, those are my favorite comedians. I should have went. Anyway. They're all getting canceled, dude. I know it's crazy right now. I know, yeah. and I've, well, I uh, we won't get into that. We might if you want. I, I kind of want to, but okay, I know. Okay. Let's, Listen, let's talk I, about no, I, first. no, no, yeah, we'll talk about cheese first. Yeah. But I, I know I shouldn't talk about it because. I think I, I should wait for the emotions to dwindle on some yeah, of those. Yeah, we'll chill on that. Like, because right, people right. are too yeah, heated yeah. and they're not being critical thinking, right, right, you know? Right, right, right. That's what happens in a lot of these situations. And, you know, I will say this before I continue on cheetahs. Um, that's one of the things that I've been noticing about the world right now is everyone from every group is yeah. infighting. Oh, yeah. Every group, strippers, comedians, actors, um, like everyone's calling everybody out. Everyone's in fight, you know, politicians. Um, oh, yeah. Every, so I'm trying to stay out of all this shit because I think at the end of this year. It's set up that way. That's well, what they want. Yeah. And I think at the end of this year, this shit's going to settle and everyone's going to be like, what the fuck were we doing? And not only that, we're in the wrong city right now. We should not be here right now. Well, I don't know about that. Okay. Don't make me scared. <laughs> 
I do want it. Like I've been looking at RVs. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. I'm, Me I am too. scared. Yeah, I want to like a camper van. Yeah, like I yeah. Get out of here. I'm just saying, oh yeah, before you continue, okay, I just want to add, in October, something with Scorpio and Mars, something, like, because Scorpio has the stinger, Mars, if you flip it, war, poisonous war, something's going to happen Oh, in hell no. Get your water. Hell no. Get your canned foods now. No, just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm all, you don't. because everyone's moving. Joe Rogan's moving to Texas. Well, Joe Rogan's. Uh, well, you know, he's. He's making his money. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm. I listen. I've always been a fan of his, yeah, except I'm a for fan. like I still kind of am a fan. You know what? My grievance with him is probably the smallest thing that no one else cares about. You he's know what? Smart man. No, I think he's smart. But okay, two things. I think he's being a little like too nice to opposing guests now he's being a little too like eh, sure well, whatever you, know, you say he got that real big spotify deal you i know, know but he's, that's so know, so he's, he's gonna he's catch some tax so he's tucking his tail he's tucking his tail a little i'm gonna say but dude that's a lot of okay if i had a hundred million dollars it's called selling out okay i guess that's another word for i can't it. Yeah, hate yeah. i can't hate on it because i like money too but at the same time that's a I, lot of money i don't what know what would you do with a hundred million dollars right now get the fuck out of town like he's doing <laughs> But okay, put yourself in Joe's mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. If you you ha you just got a Spotify deal for a hundred mil, and then what what's a thirteen percent tax? That he's gonna get tax, right? Thirteen percent. You go to Texas, he they ain't gonna tax him. Wouldn't you go to Texas? No, not me. I've lived in Texas before. I'd rather well, go well, somewhere else. What's another state where they won't charge you? Oregon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go to um, Oregon. Oh wait, no, Oregon has. Uh, property and land tax they but just don't state. have sales tax okay not yeah state. Okay. i don't know i would have to i would have to look okay. it up but texas is nah. i okay. like i'm sorry anyone who's from texas i like it it just i've never been but i would love to go listen i've i think it's a beautiful place yeah. i've just been to prison there so i have a salty history that's right that's so. right and you, you told you told, told yeah. them that story last i time. knew a little too many yeah. crackheads back in the day okay I, i'm not in that life anymore but i don't yeah. really want to be reminded of it okay i try to avoid it so yeah no hate on texas i just don't anyway um, I was going to say what, oh, the other thing about him that, um, I'm side eye about that. I don't think other people are is like, I was watching an episode. I can't remember who his guest was, but they were hating on coyotes. Oh, no. Talking about kind of like killing them or basically not wanting them around there. So when rich people move out to the hills, coyotes live in the fucking hills that's okay that's where they fucking live right, right, right. and i get it you don't want a coyote to kill your cat or your dog but just fucking keep your cat or dog under watch keep them there close you go. in there you go. i'm just saying and maybe maybe get a few chickens for the coyotes to have every there once you go. in a while there you get go. a rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. every once in a while if Eat i them. If I had the glory and the money to live in the hills, you damn right, I'm going to feed those fucking coyotes. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I just love coyotes. I think they're super cool and we're lucky to have them because a lot of pl people don't have nature anymore, anywhere near them. And that's cool to have them. Yeah. If I had that kind of money, I'd probably go near nature. Yeah, I would Get go like a cabin. I somewhere. would go near nature, and then I wouldn't be mad that nature wants to encroach on my property because yeah. I moved out to nature. That's what I. That's what I don't like. Yeah. If you don't like wild animals, go move somewhere where they don't have them. Well, I still love Joe. Joe's great. I, I mean, I'm Joe, not, Joe's great. Yeah. Listen, I'm just saying there's some things I'm a little side eye about. Yeah. But like he would give a fuck. He's fucking living his best life. He I look up care. to him, man, because you know I'm trying to. You know, I got like my little operation here. Mm -hmm. And I, I just trip out because he's an OG in this whole game. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I tripped the fuck out like when, when I heard that deal. I'm like, what? No, he's still an inspirational what? person for someone who's doing this kind of he's stuff. He's the one know? that started all this shit. Oh, yeah. Him and his homies, him and yeah. Red Band. And they he's, just he's been start doing recording. it. Hey, let's just record and talk. Who's this, you know, who, who could have predicted that that would turn into something that's like a huge business model and. You yeah, no, I, I appreciate, I it's do, crazy. listen, I respect, I do respect, yeah. I just side eye on a couple things. I could live off a mil, I mean, a hundred million, me, my age, I would probably still live in this little, <laughs> or, or maybe get a little bit of a better place, but I would still go grocery, get groceries and well, maybe get a Tacoma, you know a little what? Toyota Tacoma. I bet you everyone does it first. And then yeah. once you realize that you can have people do that shit for you, you're not going to want to do it yourself anymore. Especially if you get recognized everywhere and you have all these creeps coming up to you. And people, I'm sure you've had, you know, listen, I'm sure a lot of your fans are totally awesome, but sometimes there's some people that are a little pushy. There's, there's, it's, oh, first of all, it's never a female. That's <laughs> it's what I'm always, saying. 
a 24 to 29 year old dude. Mm hmm. Um, and ethnic dudes. Mm hmm. They love mm-hmm. the Stevie Weeby show. Listen. So shout out to all my supporters. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Well, what, yeah. I'll, I'll give you another story. Just I know I was telling something else about cheetahs. We'll get back to it. Who cares? No, let's go back to cheetahs. God damn it. It's my fault. <laughs> no, it's They're my gonna fault. They're going to comment. Cause... Steve quit cut, uh, cutting her off. I'll we, shut the fuck listen, up. Listen, this is. Go back to cheetahs. But also to the people that say shit like that, Zip. though, because I did read that comment a long time ago on another one we did. This is how we fluidly talk with each other. Anyways, this is a natural conversation. And I'm ADD. I go all over the place, too. It's not a bad thing. We're covering a lot of topics. Okay. <sighs> You can fast forward to the cheetah story. Here we go. Cheetah story at 0. .550. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure out the number later. Mm-hmm. So, um, cheetahs. I danced at this club. We. I was there for nine freaking years. Nine years. And after nine years. Oh, well, let me rewind. Before the end of. It was last year, 2018. 2019 i don't know what fucking year it is 2019 they the state of california made strippers employees and that was per the uh the whole thing with uber and lyft drivers and situations so independent contracting got bumped into uh employees i personally am not a fan of it a lot of dancers are a fan of it because then they were able to start a union which i hear just happened I think yesterday they just got unionized legally, which good for them. Congratulations, ladies. Um, I, however, still, I don't know they're going to hate on me for this. Like, get this fucking bitch out of our sex worker community. But um, I just don't think that strippers should be employees no matter what because I don't want it. I wanted to be, I'm an anarchist. I've always been an anarchist. I'm not political. I don't care about anything. I just don't want to have a bunch of laws and rules on me. I understand that everyone else feels they need them. I'm a grown ass adult. I don't. I just wanted to work somewhere where I don't feel like people are telling me what to do. And that's what I was doing. I did. We were free. That's the way it should be. That's what we were doing. Freelance. But, you know, a lot of people think that strip club owners were taking advantage of dancers and they were but i felt like i still had a right to go find the club that fit me the best and i don't mind paying a little stage Mm -hmm. fee there's a lot listen there's a lot of nuances here i'm not going to get into everything i'm just giving you my personal view on it i like being a free lance free ball person Mm -hmm. that's just my anarchist way i don't like being told what to do and um definitely though since they are employees now it's good that they have a union because now they can make sure the club doesn't tell them what to do Mm -hmm. so much hopefully but i'm out the game anyways you guys i'm a little old and i was gonna retire at 45 anyways so you know i'm i'm retired i was planning on retiring i did want to have a retirement party though right 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 right, that was supposed to be this year i turned you know 45 in april and i wanted to have a big blowout but guess what was happening in april god damn it a bunch of bullshit so anyway but you still got your um only fit you got your only fans yeah so i so that's that's what i'll that. say i i was grateful honestly that i did get fired in november because i i was like oh shit what am i going to do i don't have a job and this is before the pandemic or anything was kicking in unemployment for everybody and all that shit so and i never got that anyway but um i just i had only fans before but i never really interacted with it because i was like hey, you know i make enough money dancing i'm not you know i don't want to do all that And I I also was getting annoyed with people always asking me to do extra shit on there. And I was like, no. And then I. What do you mean by extra shit? Well, shit that I don't do. Because I do just, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to like, you know, downgrade what I do on there. But a lot of people do a lot more hardcore shit than I do. I don't do porn. I don't do masturbation. I don't do. Explain what is, I don't even know. What is OnlyFans? Well, OnlyFans, a lot of people. Typically, what is it? Well, for a lot of people, it's like a little porn light. You know, little so the, ma- masturbation videos oh, and like, but people do, people do all sorts of stuff on there. Some people are doing art and other things kind of like Patreon, yeah, but it's yeah, just, yeah. you know, there definitely is a bigger market for sex workers on there. For only, you know? fa- only fans. Mm-hmm. So there's complete nude ones. I mean, that's the one place where we can still get away with it. You could be, it's like nude. Yeah. They don't have a policy against it. So, oh, geez. You're like, God, let me get that. <laughs> no, no, I'm just trying to. Piss. 
Because there's other people that I know on Instagram who push their thing, but I never. Yeah, it's like I never clicked into it. Or, yeah, know, like, yeah, because it, it's a pay site. You know, some people have yeah. expensive rates. Mine's cheap because I don't do a lot of hardcore shit, and that's what I'm saying. It's like I set my price low because I'm not gonna be doing anything hardcore there. It's basically a lot of the nudes that I used to post on Twitter for but free. But they go to OnlyFans. But now. they go to OnlyFans instead because I can't do shit for free anymore because I don't have a job. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's push that. Okay. Tell them how they could get find uh, your OnlyFans. Well, um. I have a OnlyFans under the same name as my Twitter name. Yeah. It's like Malice666McMunn. If you look in my bio on Instagram, which is official Malice McMunn, it gives my Twitter and my um, Instagram, whatever, all my links on there pretty much. Basically, my OnlyFans is there, but it's on my Twitter. Uh -huh. And you can find it usually Let's through Let's plug there. it again. What's the name of it? Let's plug it. It's, it's like OnlyFans, and then it's Malice666McMunn. Sp spell it out. I just want to really get it out M -A -L there. So I, get, I want them to support your okay. shit. So please, please. M A L I C E six 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 M C M U N N, and it, we're gonna have to spell that out because it's a hard one. Okay. Um, now let me ask you something. Hmm. Could I start an OnlyFans? Yes, you could. <laughs> I'm listen. We've talked about this before. We've talked about this before because you've always with my dry nuts. Yeah. Because <laughs> there people will pay. Yes. So that's a twenty dollar tier. No, they're pay twenty dollars. You can see Steve's dry nuts. Yes, no, because listen, there's there's some guys sometimes that message me, and and then a message. Rand, would you if you're a female, would you pay twenty bucks to see my dry nuts? I probably yeah. You would. Pay. Oh wait, no, no, you're saying maybe not. Maybe. Dude, I just thought of an idea. I just wanted to let wait, you go know ahead, go ahead. it's not really probably going to be females paying to see your stuff. Okay, <laughs> just. Guys, you gotta understand. When, I like, would be a hit in West Hollywood, huh? Rarely, I would I'm be just, a hit. Yes, I would be the Asian b hunk. persuasion. You, they would be into that 100. percent So it would be just all dudes. Well, I'm just to gonna say it's very rare. I'm sure there's some females out there, but it's pretty rare that females will pay for anything sexual because we can get a hundred dick pics and shit for free all day. So in general. men would love. They would. They would totally. Support, sign up for my OnlyFans. Yes. So what would I have to do? I mean, you can. This is what I'm saying about OnlyFans. <laughs> look at Ren's, look you at Ren's only, body language. Listen, you. Yeah, Ren went like this. <laughs> You're not seeing what I'm seeing. Ren's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but I'm just gonna this say. Is, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna do it, but this is fun to talk about. I know, but the, I've always said this yeah. is what I hate. It's like dudes will be like, "Oh, you're so lucky, you're a chick. You can fucking get guys to fucking yeah. pay for your fucking butt pictures or whatever." But dudes, and it's like but I've, dudes I've, could I, hustle too. Just I've told I've told you this years yeah. ago. I was like, "You can get guys to pay for your shit too. It's just that you don't like men, so." or you don't want men looking at your shit. Cause I remember the one time we had this conversation. You do this. Yeah. 100%. What's your new name? What? Zelda. Ze oh this my God. I do like it. Yeah. So dudes yeah. would like this? It actually makes your skin look a little more golden. It's really nice. <laughs> so dudes would pay 20 for this? Fine. Yeah. For the, they would. There's, listen, I there's, have to show more skin though, right? There's a market for everything. You do have to show more skin. No one's paying for this whole outfit. So what kind of under, do I need to get Speedos? You should get some boy. I, I prefer. Some underoos? Listen, I think that most guys would be into the tidy whities on you. Like with the fruit of the loom, pretty boy. I would go for boyish if I was you, you know, get that real twink boyish thing going because you could pass for pretty young, you know. But the, my only concern, I know what you're saying. My only concern is since we are near West Hall, I mean, this mm -hmm. is not a homophobic mm -hmm. remark, mm -hmm. but what if because dudes, especially nowadays, we've they, I, I they, already know what you're gonna say. Go they, ahead. they could find really find me. You always have to, just like I do set boundaries with people and let them know that this is a fantasy this is where this comes in do you think <laughs> back the fuck up dude <laughs> but, but stay stay on my only fans <laughs> but this is this is what i'm saying though is yeah dudes that are into dudes they're not are more respectful not usually yeah. than dudes that are into they'll send chicks. Me chocolates and flowers and yeah stuff. they'll probably be more room listen have you ever watched i don't know about you but I've watched porn where they're fucking girls in the ass, right? And they're fucking ramming them and they're ripping them a new asshole, literally. And then you watch dudes fucking other dudes in the ass in porn and they're so gentle and loving. They're so soft. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I noticed that it's a little bit more yeah. like, you'll probably get like, 
you know, treated nice. Yeah. So unless you're like Justin Bieber, mm. you're not going to get girls paying for your like. I don't even think people yeah. would pay for Justin. Females would probably still not pay for Justin Bieber. So they, who would they pay for? Because the way that, listen, the way the market works yeah. is girls don't, <laughs> girls won't pay for shit because they want dudes to want them. Like that's right. the thing. So I don't like. I wouldn't be chasing a dude that doesn't that wants me to pay for his shit. But like, dudes are more. What if you're a GQ model though, and you got a six pack, and you're just you're just gorgeous? Like, I still don't. I Tom don't, Hardy or something. We're, like most, I'm gonna say like I even though I'm a cougar and I do like you know like to chase after young dude well back in the day not really oh no anymore. we've talked about that. yeah we talked we've about, talked about like, that. you know like i would i would like to do the little bit of hunting yeah it only is fun if they're into me if they were like here's my only fans or here's my whatever it you know That's, that you know, there's like a wall there listen you know that it's it's what's the word i know it's not fair in most guys heads it's not fair that the world works this way but the world works this way in gen in this is general general terms in general terms Mm -hmm. it works in the way that um just we're not as horny as y'all yeah like the thing is is like it's it's like we're horny but like in the way that we would want Hmm. them okay let me go Okay. No, 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 okay. no. Take here, your time. Here, Take here. Your time. let me explain. Uh, here's a good analogy, I think, maybe. Let's see if this analogy works. A comedian once was doing a bit, and he was talking about how um, he was like, yeah, girls always say, oh, I'm so, I'm just as horny as you guys. And, like, some girl in the audience was like, yeah, I am. And he was like, really? He was like, really? Okay, well, then you fuck this guy. And she was like, nah, you know. And then he was like, well, would you fuck her to the guy? And the guy was like, yeah. Yeah. And it, I was like, he did a wrong analogy, though. You know why? Because, so, gr- I'm just going to say, girls are thousands of times hotter than most dudes. Oh, yeah. And this is why this, is why this, situa- this analogy doesn't mm-hmm. work. If you, get, if you go to, let's say, a random bar, and you just pick 10 dudes at random from the bar, and then ask me if I would fuck any of them, it's probably going to be a no. But if you grab 10 girls and ask any dude if he's going to fuck any of those girls, it's probably going to be a yes, right. all of them. And if you ask me if I'd fuck any of the 10 girls, I'll also say I'll fuck more of those girls than those dudes. Right. The girls are just in general hotter. I just found a loophole, though. I what figured out a way how to, I figured out a way. I'm not going to do it. This mm-hmm. is just hypotheticals. Okay, I want to say I'm that. not going to do it, but I think I can figure out a way. Mm-hmm. If I went to the best surgical doctor in Korea, mm-hmm. and, and like a K-pop, Mm-hmm. doctor and got the fucking eye surgery and the skin you know the cosmetics mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dude i could get like like you know how like girls love k-pop mm-hmm. stars mm-hmm. then that way i could get that too on my my only fans all you fucking need to do to be a k-pop star is just to grow your hair longer <laughs> i need the eyes you just need this, i need the eyes you just Going over yeah, like no, this. I need the eyes. I need the eyes a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Yeah, I do. I need the eyes, and then I need to hit the gym, a couple more tattoos. You know? Oh no! And I then, follow a lot of those K-pop guys. I think really it's just the hair. It's the hair. It's the hair. What? What do I have? Just grow it. Like just. Yeah. Oh, just, I could get highlights. Get highlights. Highlights in it. and longer. You got to do kind of like the emo haircut mm-hmm. or like you know like Japanime. Yeah, Japanimation emo, style. Kinda. Then that's how I do it. That's how I bypass the system. Yeah. Now. And then a little tuxedo. Yeah. No. <laughs> for the oh, like if I had my OnlyFans, it it would ju- I would have to be nude then for these, for my audience then right. Like Not with my webcam, or could you I just could play just, video games, you, or what? Could, you know what do what? I have to do? You know what though? I will say sometimes dudes have like tried to like you know DM me their like sexy pics and whatever. And wait, I will wait, say, what, what do you mean? What like dick pics? Just or say other it. Sexy just pics. say dick pics then. No, no, because there's some of them aren't dick pics. <laughs> okay. But I will say I was gonna say that the ones I like aren't ever revealing the dick it's like they're showing their like nice abs and then they have like some tidy whities on and then they kind of just stroke it and they don't they just show the form of it but, but they you don't see the show sausage the, in the pa- the you, undies though right? you can see at the yeah lump. yeah yeah and i'm like that's actually really hot instead of raw the yeah because it's it's like that tease of like you almost see it yeah like this one guy used to send me like he would also wear his tidy whities in the shower and make it like uh like a wet t-shirt yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> Who is that motherfucker? You showed me this crazy video. He's like a Texan. Oh, I'm, He's not like, even, I'm not going to say his name. Don't say yeah. his name, but dude, let's talk about, dude, he was, that dude sent you some amazing footage. Actual porn. So this is just a regular this dude. This guy from Louisiana, where is he from? Tennessee? Or? Midwest, somewhere. Midwest. I think. He was like a guy from like, he was like a cowboy. I think he started putting some of his stuff on Pornhub too. But he would send you videos of him having sex on the street in Las Vegas. Just regular, just getting some chick on the street and just them fucking in, in yeah. between two cars. And then, and then on top of that, and then you would think, oh, you knew this dude, what he was about, but then it'd be a guy. He was into oh, both. Oh yeah, he did dudes too. He did dudes too. It's hot. How did I this guy hot. find you? I have no idea. That guy, but I never you asked showed them. me those videos at Starbucks, man. Yeah. And I was tripping. This I think dude- he just started DMing me one day and I was like encouraging. I was like, oh, yeah, that's hot. Because I mean, this is the thing is I'm not against dick pics. I'm not against nudity or anything like that. I just don't, I don't want dudes thinking I'm going to have a relationship with their dick pic or whatever. I'm not. Like they can send it to me and I'll appreciate it. But. You know, and he did. He just sent me the stuff, and I was like, yeah, that's yeah. hot. I it reminded me if he, like, would exist in the movie There Will Be Blood. Like, he's oh, in yeah, that yeah. world. He's got the silly yeah, mustache. Yeah, he's got, and... like, the fucking, the whole thing. Like, from a different time period. Like, yeah. cowboy hat. And, dude, he was, like, really creepy, but in a cowboyish, cool way. Yeah, there was something attractive about him, but also not. Like, I was, like, I think for me, he kind of looked like my dad, so I was, like, but oh, he sent one where he was actually uh, doing a girl doggy, mm-hmm. and he was looking at the camera like. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, like he had his. He, yeah, did he have gold fronts too? Like he had some I crazy. Yeah, he, he had some gold teeth. He had yeah. some gold teeth, which I think too. are hot He's too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you showed me that, yeah. and I was tripping. I was like, "What the? Fuck? Yeah, he he made me watch it. It would show it to him like a hundred times. I was like, "Show me again." Kidding. That dude was. A, he's an amazing, dude. Like. Yeah, just no. his character. No, it was a fu- he's a full on character, and the thing is, I do- oh, he's a musician too. He's a mu- and he's and actually his, really his good. His music's good. He's really good. Yeah, and that's the thing is, like, I like, um, you know, it's cool to me to see because porn and like uh, porno magazines and stuff like that, they've always shown you like kind of like one type of person having sex, no, and it's kind of cool when you see like someone who's like outside of that realm. He's outside that box. Oh yeah. Yeah. He He's doesn't in look his like own world. yeah. He doesn't look like anyone who no. who you've seen. He looks like a gunslinger, <laughs> like, but modern. Like he's from a different era. Yeah. And he just found you. Mm-hmm. And it was like he was giving you like the, his diary vlogs. Like, look at me. Yeah. It was. It's, yeah. It, he stopped doing it because I think he started having like a real uh, like Pornhub channel, and now he's getting paid. I think. Oh, where really? I'd like to support. Like, where's yeah. he, where's this fool at? I'll tell you later. Okay, you'll tell me later. Mm-hmm. Damn, this dude's amazing. Yeah. If I was Netflix, like if I was a rep there, I'd be like, all right, our next documentary I would too. is on this dude. I would fucking too. Because he's an amazing musician, but then he's got this dark side, this yeah, perverted side. Yeah, he was side. like a busker kind of guy, so he's like driving around and then playing yeah. music on the streets trying like to get a banjo. money his car. <laughs> like he sent me, yeah, he had sent me, he had sent me snaps where he's like f- fucking car broke down. He's on the side of the street trying to get more money f- to fix yeah. it. And just like he had adventures, you know, and like, and then just the random chicks that he'd run into and fuck all the time. And you'd be like, what? They'd be hot too. You'd raw like, dog too. Oh, was, raw yeah, just, He was just raw dogging. You know, porn. Yeah. They're yeah. doing it. So I'm glad that he f- found an outlet in Pornhub and uh, <laughs> good for him. Yeah. Let's go back to, so like, okay, we talked about that. So what's, what happened to, because you started doing your movie. Can we talk about movies with Malice? Yeah, yeah. Because I still, uh, man, like you had some good momentum going. What yeah, happened because there? Because I want to encourage you, know, you still to do that. Yeah, you helped me out a little yeah. bit with that, and I got it started. But then the pandemic happened, y'all, and I got a little depressed, man. Right, that's and fine. And trying to do the um, editing by myself, and then also just feeling like um, there was more important stuff to discuss than my movies, because there's just all this shit going on, and it's mm-hmm. like hard not to acknowledge it. Yeah. And to, and to talk about other things, you know, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. unless I'm talking with someone else, like if I and then I couldn't have guests like. And I wanted to have, like, the whole thing is, like, doing it by myself is not as fun. I really like having guests like you have, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, like, I just don't have a lot of people that I trust having guests with because, you know, most of my friends aren't really taking this shit serious at all. And I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I, as far as, like, having people, that's why I brought all this stuff, you know, in case you wanted me to, to be respectful. I try to, like, you know. No, I know you're quarantining yourself. I know you're being responsible. I mean, my house is super quarantine-y, so I really don't want too many people going in there because mm-hmm. i'm like 
let me sanitize you first. Mm-hmm. I'm a little, listen, I, I was, before this shit happened, whether anyone believes in anything that's happening right now or not, before any of this shit happened, I was a fucking goddamn germaphobe. If a girl came into my work back in the day mm-hmm. with a cough or with a rash that I thought was suspicious, I would either convince her to go home or I would go home if I couldn't convince her. Because I don't like getting sick. I just don't like getting sick. And I don't like getting rashes or bed bugs or whatever. Like if I think anyone has anything that I can get, mm-hmm. I'm out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and yeah, I, this yeah. is, I've always been like that. And then, like, you know, this is some next level shit. And what, whatever it is, even if I was to be fine, like maybe I have a great immune system, I'd be fine. Mm-hmm. I just don't want it. I just don't want it. Mm-hmm. You know? So I'm trying to be as like, you know, act as paranoid as possible. Like this is... This is probably the most interaction with a human I've had in a while. You know what? You know what pushed me to even get you more like a part three? Because I saw someone contacted me on Instagram and mm-hmm. saying, hey, Alice is saying that, you know, you're not getting her, her on your show. Mm-hmm. And I go, what? I asked her. No, because. And then he's, this, this kid sent me this thing and you were doing like a live Instagram live it. thing. And you're like. Oh, Stevie, he's getting way too famous. I was getting... And I'm like, I'm, it, it, it boiled, it, I was getting enraged because, first of all, that's not even true. I'm famous, what, at the local Ralph's on uh, off Sunset? Like, no. Oh, big deal. No. But, no, but I was just saying, I, w- I was trying to oh, get those... Oh, pissed me off. I was Listen, pissed. I was just trying to get those people off the case. Yeah. Because I've been, every time I go live, somebody says, you need to go back on Stevie Weeby. And I keep being like, well, tell him. I'm so, not just so, going to Someone hit me up today because I... I post it and they go you need a alice you need to get her back and i and then i had then i was like I, i'm like oh yeah, i could text coming. him right away she's coming today bro yeah Boom. calm down it's yeah. probably the same person they change their name all the time it's just one person that's really into it yeah like i just need to see those two together yeah. oh it's no, working got, no th- th- this always makes for fun episodes man yeah no yeah. i mean and, and i tell this is the thing i was given that i was given shit on the show like hoping that they would actually hit yeah. you up because i do want to be on your show yeah yeah who you know what do you think that what, what do you think's missing like i try to get guests like I try to reach out to random people, but there's only so many people I could get. Like, what, what, how do you give me some suggestions? How, how do I need a different approach on, like, do I need to email people or wh- what's the deal with that? Do when you usually get people, how do you do it? Instagram. I think that's a good way to get people. The I guess there's some people that aren't in Instagram though. Some people think it's unprofessional. I suppose if they're higher up, you got to contact their manager. Well, or I don't something. have you know I got I got one employee here. Yeah. I don't have a manager or some kind of you know person that. No, but uh, I mean like you contact their manager. Their manager. You know what I'm saying? Because some yeah. people have a manager like, um, you know like I mean I have a manager for my clothing line, but like you know if if. I've had him negotiate stuff for me, you know, like if people want me to do stuff, but if it's something that I'm like side eye about or whatever. Um, but like these, some people like people to go through their management. Right, right, right. You know, who, talk to my manager. Who, who would you, what three guests that haven't been on here, who would you like to see on here as well? Who do you think would be like, oh, that'd be a perfect guest for the Stevie Weeby show? I wish well. you would like pregame that question so I could really think because I'm 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 sure. No, once, just on the fly. Just, just I don't think, even just know, think of three randoms. If I leave now, I'm gonna be like, oh, I should have said. I mean, I was really st- I was already really stoked that you had um, uh, Josh Barnett on here. He oh, I yeah, love yeah, yeah, I love that, that motherfucker. That He's great. really good. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to have like. Um, you know, some more like of those UFC guys and stuff. Jason, like, Jason Ellis, even though he has his own podcast, I think it'd really be cool oh, if you guys yeah, did that each would other's. Be dope, yeah. You know, um, just like I would love to see you two interact with each other. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Um, who else? Let me think. Let me think. Hey, Red, um, write that down. Jason Ellis. Jason write that Ellis. Down. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be cool for you to have. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Would Kat Von D be a good fit? Kevin, you would be a good fit. I think yeah, it'd be kind of hard to yeah, get her, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would yeah. never ask her to be yeah, on my yeah, show. Yeah, that, but even though you're hard. more popular than me, I would yeah. just be like, no, no, no. you know, that's what I was getting at. I, maybe more. I have never had a tattoo artist. Oh yeah, get some tattoo artists on here. Wait, yeah, you haven't had any. I haven't had any. Oh, I was. Or maybe when they get on, they could give me a tattoo, like a little, you know. Yeah, a little, little thing. Little flash. Um, tattoo. I mean, I have so many tattoo artist friends that I love. Like, I think. 
you know, that would be cool to talk to them right now and also see what they're do doing with the pandemic. I'm actually getting this snake finished by Nate oh, Fierro dope, tomorrow. Dope, He's dope, from dope. Cat's Old Shop. The Is there any more? Room? I mean, you're running out of room there. Yeah. <laughs> you got, yeah. I'm running out. Yeah. We didn't do a whole a tattoo tour. That's going to be a whole separate that's episode a whole, Oh, someday. that's that's that's, a, that's like a whole two hours. I don't even hours. know yeah. what these tattoos. It, yeah. I, so you're going to get this snake finished? Yeah, that's supposed to happen tomorrow. I actually thought it was happening on Tuesday, and I showed up at his shop oh, okay. on Tuesday. And there What's was a, his name? Let's, let's Nate Fierro. What 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 shop? He works at uh, High Voltage. So shout out to High Voltage. Yeah, but of course, they're not open right now. Oh, that's in the so, neighborhood. Yeah, they're... they're um, closed for the pandemic but since we're me and him are homies we're getting the yeah. homie level tattoo but um you know like nobody's working in tattoo shops in la right now um i want like an old school like chicano like the, the ones that do like the the, the chicano style then you need then you need that to go dude from shamrock what's that dude shamrock name? shamrock all the shamrock guys you want those dudes are dope those those are the dudes those are the those, cholo are, the, those are the cholo artists yeah, over there and the you best. um I mean, I would, uh, a dream a cartoon would be a dream, like cartoon. Yeah, cartoon is yeah, that'd super be, sick. That'd so be a, is, um, that'd be a sick guest, cartoon. Oh, my God. There's just so many good artists there. Uh, there's yeah. another one, Under the Gun, I think that's called. Yeah. They have a bunch of good artists there. Yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of good shops in L.A. There's a lot of good artists out here. I used to go to um, tattoo expos and stuff here all the time, and there's just too many good ones. There's too many good ones. Yeah, but um, I definitely petered down getting tattoos once i got here what sucks because now i'm so hypercritical about what i want that mm -hmm. i can't decide on anything barely anymore yeah how how do you decide like what's the next one for me it, it's one of those things where I, like i usually see it in a dream oh it's a dream vision so i haven't had a lot of dream visions for those anymore so i have to wait for it to come to me yeah and then i'm like you know like this thigh i've been waiting for something but nothing's coming i like the smaller ones like i just know that's real subtle the skull there like that yeah the little tiny yeah skull. yeah like the, the, the little ones are well, cool that, it's because that pile of skull comes with this you know what this is from no it's lone wolf cub oh damn that's, that's what's up you know oh i didn't even notice you have a web on your elbow too. yeah i have that too but you know lone wolf and cub oh it's i like, love lone wolf and yeah, cub yeah, that's yeah. my shit right right so um yushi takai did yeah that. He's that's in, my shit he's in amsterdam now but um like, i didn't even realize that you he, have a lone he's wolf the one cub that one. also did the two cocks fighting over my ass oh tattoo. that's dope yeah yushi's the shit yeah even though he's into making you feel pain but i love him what's the dollar amount just all the work that's been done on all the the ink thousands thousands it's got to be like over fifty thousand dollars i mean if you look at just the two roosters over that's my back that's that those are probably g's, three thousand dollars couple g's right you know, there yeah for those all right so for those of dude it's already the time has already freaking passed crazy i feel like we just got started i feel like we did too well you're yeah. always welcome dude you're always family here and you know that okay i know don't ever because i'm not it was just i know but i know i'm not if you could say like my brother okay my brother okay he's you know he's famous this person's famous but here i'm famous on maybe a local local microcosm level i mean i see you blowing up though bro i see you blowing up. let's keep this thing going hopefully randy is it is it getting is it getting we're almost at a hundred thousand how about this i'm gonna put this out th there to the universe for all you um up and coming our tattoo artists or og art tattoo artists i like you know whatever style you do i like the chicano yeah yeah cholo style Same. artists uh holler at me at uh instagram q u a n g o u and then just link me to your page and see yeah, what's up. If you're, yeah. and then it'd help if you're LA based as well. Yeah, then you can. Um, I want to put that out there. Let's end it with. I want to push your uh, OnlyFans and your merch and whatever you want to uh, push right now. Well, I already, already talked about the OnlyFans. That's mm -hmm. at Mouse Six 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 McMahon. You can find that through Twitter if it's easier. Mm -hmm. um, my um, Instagram is official Malice McMunn and my we're gonna write it all in the description later or whatever mm -hmm. right yeah for sure for sure <laughs> and then um, then uh, what you call it oh yeah my clothing line maliciouscreatures.com mm -hmm. um, we're right here dude we're in a bit of a standstill. It's been there it's been there yeah we need a we, we we're, we're having problems with some um, some production right now because a lot of things are in standstill but I still have a lot of stuff and I'm putting a lot of stuff from my closet in there now so it's mm -hmm. like a thrift store up in there mm -hmm. as well as you know the merch that I make but um yeah there's that 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 what else 
Um, oh yeah, my YouTube channel that is not finished yet was also yeah, under Malice McMahon. Let's plug it. It's gonna come back on eventually. Good, to, good, to, good. To, yeah. What is it? What is it? Say it's, it. To it's the just camera. called Movies with Malice, or it's under Malice McMahon. I hadn't ever really came up with a really witty name for it. It's All just right. my movies, because also there was also some tutorials. I got a hair tutorial in there, makeup tutorial, and how to make a litter box for your dog tutorial. Can I? Can I just? I'm just throw some ideas mm -hmm. that you could do just on your phone. Yeah. Dude, just do like I did it on my phone. I mean, I'm saying do daily vlogs of you just go walking your dog, dude, or like go, you know, just people like seeing stuff like that. The only thing is, the other day I took some video of my dog at this one park, and then a bunch of people want to know where that park is, and I didn't want them to know where the park is because I don't want my spot blown up. Oh, okay, that because okay. that ha that's what All happened right. to Runyon. That's fair, and enough. I had to find a whole new spot. That's fair enough. Fair Runyon's enough. blown I was just the trying fuck to throw up some now. ideas out there. No, that's fine. I that's understandable. I'm like protective of my. Spot. I'm protective of my there empty you spots. Go. You explained yourself. Yeah, right. Dude, time flew by, huh? Yeah, always that just does. flew by. I dude. just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. I, we like that here because <laughs> we need more talking. Mm -hmm. All right. With that being said, sh uh, shout out to Alice McMahon, part three. Um, we do have a Patreon attached to the show. Um, if you want to help this thing survive and have it keep going and living. Uh, you know, join the Patreon, patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. We have three, the three of our newest patrons are Alex Diolas, Wallace Walston, and uh, Nils Figueroa. Uh, uh, me and Craig finished uh, the pod in which we travel uh, music video, and Ren helped out. Thanks for helping out that day, Ren. Um, we're do, we're uh, on post uh, editing on that. We're doing post production stuff on that, okay? So that just look out for that. That should be dropping soon. Uh, we have a uh, have a website, StevieWeebyShow dot com. Uh, pick yourself up a shirt or a, a little Ray's World hoodie. Um, just know that shipping is going to be delayed a little bit because of the the pandemic and everything. But definitely go check that out. There's a lot of cool uh, designs to choose from. Um, my Instagrams Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. Uh, my Bandcamp, StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. All my music's on there. We have a P.O. Box video where people send in packages and I, un uh, I unbox them on camera and I do a vlog. Send your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A. California 90093. You could even send a letter, okay? There's no Little Ray's World this week, so s s next week look out for it. Um Shout out to my baby boy, Riker. I was playing with uh, Riker's parents from Dallas, Texas today before, and I, they said they just had a baby boy, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to give them a shout out. And they're from uh, Dallas, Texas, and the, the boy's name is Riker. Shout out, shout out to you again. That was really smooth and, and flew by. Till next time.